When I broke my neck at school, all I was given was an aspirin. <laughs> David's team, what happened? How did you break your neck? Uh... <laughs> Don't worry, we can lose that pause in the edit. Yeah. <laughs> as, as a young man, I, I was in the gym team. Right. At school. We were doing a display for... whatever you do, dis uh, Founders Day, <laughs> something like that. I had to do a somersault over a box. A box? A horse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a horse box. The bit... One of the things. <laughs> Wasn't that big? Yeah, it's right. Vault. Yes. So I, was, I jumped over one of those and was supposed to do a somersault, uh, but I did one and a half. <sighs> and Ooh. landed on your head. He's well, very clever, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> so what happened then, Aid? Eh? You, 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 you came <clears throat> crashing to the floor. Uh, there was a very loud noise. Your, your neck breaking made a noise. <laughs> yes. Why wouldn't a neck breaking make a lot well, of did... noise? That's a good point. Wouldn't you scream anyway? I mean... But the noise would precede the scream. But on the way down, on the way to hitting your neck, presumably you'd be shouting out something like, Ah! No, because actually there's sometimes a delay before the pain actually arrives. So yeah, but you still might, there still might be alarm <laughs> as yes. you see the chances of you saving yourself from <laughs> well, a neck in there, it doesn't It's look... like people in, a, in an aeroplane every... that's crashing, they're probably screaming, and you don't go, Well, you're yeah, fine at the yes, moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So you've, you've hit the ground, you, you fall to the floor. What happens then? I was in a great deal of pain. Was there uh, a gym teacher present? There was. He was Scottish. Yeah. Jock Watt, his, his name was. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was his... Uh, you had Watt. a teacher called Jock Watt. <laughs> so what did Watt do? One of the first things he did... <laughs> ..was he <laughs> put out his cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. On uh, the head of a uh, nearby child. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was there? Where? Because, because uh, <laughs> in the display. What was in the display? What? what? Part <laughs> of it. <laughs> we're, quite, we're quite small schoolboys. Uh, so there's a, there's a kind of teacher to catch you. Oh, or yes. half catch you. <laughs> half catch you. So somebody dropped you. You half... bounce over the thing and, and you sort of... Is that after he dropped you? Is that when he went... <laughs> <laughs> I was carried off the field of display. By what? By... <laughs> <laughs> and, and taken uh, to the sick bay, uh, where I was given an aspirin. <laughs> so where was what now? <laughs> I wish his name wasn't what. <laughs> Why? So, was, was it evident to you from the start that you'd, be, you'd broken your neck? Uh, no. I suffered a great deal of pain for very many years um, and didn't really find out about the crushed vertebrae until... Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> until a few, a few years after. So, what are you thinking? Are, are you thinking that it could be true? Well, the thing is, I've been observing him, as I do, and he doesn't have full movement of his neck. <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. How long have you been observing him for, sir? You see? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I reckon it's true now because of the whole neck thing. Do you think it's true because of inhibited neck movement? I do indeed. We're going to say it's true. Aid Edmondson, was it true or was it a lie? It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's true. Aid was given an aspirin for a broken neck.